One thing I've been trying to wrap my head around while studying for the CCST networking exam is protocols. I kept seeing words like HTTP or TCP while learning what the exam covers, but I didn't really understand what a protocol actually is. Turns out they don't have to be as complicated as they sound. So here's how I'm thinking about it now to make networking topics make more sense. A protocol is basically a set of rules that devices follow to talk to each other over a network. Imagine trying to play a video game with someone, but you don't speak the same language and you don't agree on the same rules. It would be hard to get started. That's exactly what protocols solve. They are the agreed upon rules that make sure that data is sent, received, and understood correctly, no matter the device. Protocols help make sure devices know how to send data, what format to send it in, as well as how to respond when they receive something. Without protocols, even something as simple as loading a website or sending a file wouldn't work. Your computer wouldn't know how to ask for data and the server wouldn't know how to respond. Let me walk you through a few key protocols that I'm focusing on for the exam. HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is what your browser uses to load websites. Every time you visit a page, it uses HTTP to request and receive content. IP, or Internet Protocol, gives every device an address so data knows exactly where to go. A device's IP is used in every single online communication. FTP, or File Transfer Protocol, is used in moving files from one device to another. It is commonly used in file management tools. TCP, or Transmission Control Protocol, makes sure that your data delivers safely and in the right order. I like to think of it like ordering something online. You get a tracking number, updates at every step, and you get a delivery confirmation when it arrives. UDP, or User Datagram Protocol, is faster than TCP, but it doesn't check for delivery or order. That's why it's great for things like video streaming or online gaming where speed matters more. From learning more about protocols, you can see how they make the internet work. All in all, you can think of protocols as the rulebook that make different networking communications possible. For the CCST networking exam, it is important to know which protocol does what and how they fit into the bigger picture of how devices talk to each other. If you're interested in diving deeper into protocols, you can check out Cisco Networking Academy's CCST courses. And as you continue on your journey, you can explore free tutorials on Cisco U.